Hey guys, what the heck is up? It's Amanda here, and welcome back to my channel, Hoot of the Sims. So as you all know, um, Realm of Magic is out, yay. And um, dropped today, September 10th, which is, you know, the day I'm recording this. However, probably won't get the video out till tomorrow, so September 11th. And again, uh, in the US, September 11th is a really touchy time. So again, if any of you are impacted by 9-11, I am deeply sorry. Um... Uh, but we're, we'll always remember, we'll never forget about 9-11, which sucks that I'm going to be uploading this video on 9-11, but it's okay. Um, we're going to stay strong, we're going to stay hyped about this pack, and um, we're going to go over some build buy, we're going to go over some create a sim, and hopefully maybe go over some gameplay. I might want to leave that to you guys, though, to discover on your own. However, I think it might be good to dabble in a little bit of it and just maybe do a general world overview. I'm not entirely sure. I don't want this video to be extremely long. Um, but with that being said, we're going to just dive right into the video. Okay, so when you launch the game, this is what it looks like, which is awesome. It says, Welcome to The Sims 4, a Realm of Magic. So we're going to go ahead and read through all these little blurbs they've got here, which the first one says, Discover the Neighborhood. An unreal world awaits your sim, and when you stumble upon the secret portal, there are mystical discoveries at every turn. We kind of expected that. Um, learn the craft, study up on classic teachings, get experts on it. get experts to train your sim, collect and cast spells and make sims fight, conjure food, or even turn others into objects. That's really exciting. Transfiguration from Harry Potter is in the game, yes. Um, create drinkable potions or make sims fall in love. Renew wait. Remove an unwanted curses or live forever. So that's that's really cool. Get real familiar. Ha, huh, funny. Um, summon a dragon fairy or a familiar that best suits your sim's personality as a personal guard and give it a creative name. Now, familiars kind of remind me of um, Patronuses in Harry Potter, which is really cool. I definitely think that's what they're going off of. So that's, I'm excited about the familiars. It's going to be really awesome. Um, dress for supernatural success. Get in the spirit of sorcery with outfits that suit your sim. Collect wands and brooms to finish the look. Then decorate rooms with enchanting objects. So this is all fun and dandy. And obviously they've got the three pictures. They've got the cauldron with three sims around it. They've got a fight scene picture, which is really cool with the two familiars here. And we also have the area of the secret world um, where they enter through, and this is where you can buy all your stuff, from my understanding, so there's, like, a wand shop, a broomsticks shop, and also a, um, like, where you can buy ingredients for potions, so that's really awesome. We're just gonna start a new game, and we'll make a wizard here, and we'll see how this works. Um, no thanks, we're not gonna do story. Um, let's go ahead and do an occult sim, we'll do a wizard, or they call them spellcasters. Wizard or witch. Let's make a witch first. Uh, I'm not feeling her look. I'm not feeling her look. Not feeling her look. I kind of want to make an evil witch, but I don't know. Um, again, I also have no idea. I kind of want to make a YouTube series off of this because it could be really fun to work with. However, I don't know how I want the characters to look just yet, so I'm not going to make the character today on camera. I'm just going to... Oh, I can, I can work with you. You're really pretty. Okay, so let's go ahead and filter out between packs. So let's go to packs, and let's go to Realm of Magic. So we've got four new hairstyles for women. Um, that one's really cool. Let's see what they look like in general, you know, hair colors. So that's pretty awesome. There's a lot of detailing that goes into this. I feel like, I think this looks really, really nice. Um, yeah, I like that hair. I really like that hair. And this one's got a widow's peak, which is really cool too. Um, maybe not for all, but I think this could work for a specific sim. I feel like that's how all these hairstyles are, which is kind of unfortunate. Like, this one's really, really pretty, but again, I don't think every single sim can pull this hairstyle off. However, I do think she can, and it looks really good on her. So I'm gonna probably give her this hairstyle. However, there's also a colored version, which is really cool. I don't know about the colored version. I don't think I like it as much as the solid version of the hairstyle, but it's okay. I mean, they tried. So there's that. Like, I don't know how I feel about this swatch in specific. I don't like it. Um, however, this one's kind of nice. But anyway, so I'm gonna give her this hairstyle and this. No, let's do the, like, the grayish black color. Yeah. Um, I don't think we got any new hats, unfortunately. I'm just gonna 
double check that really quick here. No hats. Um, I think we got some makeup, though. So let's take a look at the makeup. We did get some makeup. We've got some funky eyeliner here. Of course, we have the original um, more versatile black swatch as well as some fun colors here. And there's some lipstick as well. I really like this lipstick, actually. I really like the, the red um, as well as this version. Uh, that's really, really nice. Uh, it's not as funky as some of the lipsticks that we have in the game, so it's, it can be used. I can see this actually being a really nice create a sim item. And then this is what we saw in the trailer. Now, I thought this was a tattoo, but I guess it's makeup. But it's okay. I kind of like it. Um, we're gonna make her be kind of evil, so I think this is a good look. Um, accessories, let's just double check. I don't think we got any accessories, but, you know, we never know. Uh, Realm of Magic, we did, okay. Um, so we've got some earrings here. Those are pretty cute. Uh, different swatches. Uh, a necklace that we can't see because of the outfit she's wearing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on a shirt for her. I don't know, we'll just throw this on her. Uh, so we can see it better. Actually, no, let's put... Let's put one of the new shirts on. Okay, so that's what the necklace looks like. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. That looks good. Um, different swatches as well. We've got some gold chains, some rose gold chains, some silver chains. It's pretty nice. And we got a choker here. Okay. I'm living for it. Really good Kratos M items, actually. I like this key necklace. That's really cute. Okay. So we went through pretty much everything here. I don't think we got any new tattoos. That would be the only other thing I can think of. Um, but we have to click on her body and then go to body and tattoos, I believe. Um, so let's just take a look. I don't think we got any. We did not. Okay. So we're going to go through female in high speed and then, or not high speed, we're going to go through female in normal speed and then uh, we're going to go through other items in fast speed and I'll just do a voiceover because I don't feel like looking through all of them in detail. A lot of people look forward to the female Kratos Sim items the most anyway, so. Um, we got a, a nice button up shirt. I don't know how I feel about it. It's kind of awkward looking, um, but I do like this overlay here. This just looks really flat, but, you know, who am I to judge? And then we've got this tuxedo top, which is kind of cute. That's really fancy looking. I think that's really nice, actually. And then this shirt. I like this one, because um, I feel like it would fit a light sim and a dark sim, um, or a dark witch, or, you know, wizard, whatever. But this shirt is probably my favorite one from the pack. I'm going to be using this for witches and non uh, witches witches, so that's really nice. I think this is my favorite swatch. Obviously the solid black ones, and this is really cute too. Um, and then we've got this shirt. This almost looks like a pirate shirt. I don't really think it resembles Realm of Magic to me, honestly, but it's a nice shirt. I really like this one. I will be using it for sure. Uh, when will I be using it? Don't know. Um, and then we've got this onesie, which is really interesting. I figured this would just be a top. I feel like they should put onesies in full body, but that may be just a weird judging thing on, on my part. I don't know. Um, and then we've got some pants. I've heard some pretty bad things about the pants here. Um, so we've got one skirt. Uh, I think this would match that crop top. I'm not entirely sure. And um, then we've got some shorts as well here. I really like the shorts, actually. Um, I think I like the all black version. We've got a skirt, apparently. I like the skirt. Okay, so this reminds me of, like, the Renaissance Festival. I don't know if where you guys are from, if you guys have Renaissance Festivals, but this looks like a skirt you could buy at a Renaissance Festival. And then we've got these pants um, that I am not feeling at all. They're really... I don't know. Like, I don't want to say ugly, you know what I mean? But they're not my favorite. They're not my favorite. Definitely not. Um... Yikes. And then, do we have any shoes at all? I feel like we should have some shoes. Yeah, okay, so we have a pair of boots. That looks really cool. Those look like the boots from How to Train Your Dragon. Um, but that girl wears in it. Oh my gosh, yes. I like the green swatch. That's my favorite. Then we've got these boots as well. This is probably more witch-like to me. I don't know. 
Uh, maybe that's just my personal opinion, but I think I'm going to put her in these. And then for your bottoms, let's throw you in... Let's put you in the skirt. And then for your top, we could throw you in this. I think... No, um, maybe... Uh, we'll put her in... This is a hard decision for me. We'll put her in this. Uh, we don't need accessories unless there's Realm of Magic accessories, which I didn't even consider until now. Uh, Realm of Magic. Ooh, we have, we have leggings, you guys. Okay, hold on. I have to remove the skirt so we can see this clearly. Oh my god, I'm so for this. Look at this. This could work for a Halloween costume. That's amazing. And there's like several different colors here. I'm a fan of the leggings, uh, no doubt, and I like the rose ones as well. Oh my god, that's my favorite! Um, is this a bracelet, or what is this? Ooh, it is. It's like a high... Uh, it's a high bracelet. I don't even know how to explain that. And then we've got this really cool hand piece here that I'm living for. That is amazing. Um, I'm definitely gonna give her one of these, probably just the black and red version. Um, we do have this bracelet as well. It's like one of the tied knot bracelets. That's really cute, too. Oh, I love it. Okay. Definitely giving her this and that. Um, leggings. I don't think we need any leggings. Well, maybe we'll put on... I want to put these on. They look scary. Um, and then we'll do the black skirt. Where's your top that we put on you, lady? Here it is. Perfect. Okay. So that is our Sam. I really like her. Uh, we'll just focus on her every day, uh, and then we'll go ahead and go... Yeah, Bristol. That's a cute name. Bristol Craven. Sure. Pick an aspiration. Ooh, we have some new aspirations here. So we've got Under Nature, Pervier of Potions. The Sim wants to learn every potions recipe, recipe and craft each one. That could be a potential thing that she'd want to do. However, there's also this one, Spellcraft and Sorcery. This sim craves a deep knowledge of the arcane magical arts. I feel like that is more down her alley. And then we'll have her be mean, evil, and yikes, um, maybe a little hot-headed. So there's Bristol. Um, and now we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put this in high speed mode because I don't want to spend all day looking at creative sim items. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and look at this, the mail stuff, in high speed. Um, let's just find a guy to work with. He's okay. We'll, we'll work with him. Alright, so I'm gonna switch over to high speed mode and I'll just do a voiceover of showing off all the rest of the items. We'll get to kids, we'll get to mail. Um, we'll check out toddlers too, but I highly doubt we got anything for toddlers, but let's get into this. Okay, so for male stuff, it's... I'm, like, I'm neutral on it. I really like this hair, the first hair that I showed you guys. I think that one's really strong. Now this curly-haired weird one, I don't know about. Um, but there's not too much new in general for Create a Sim, but I feel like everything is pretty strong. Um, I really like the shirt he's wearing currently. Um, there's several different swat swatch options. Everything looks super, super nice. Um, not even gonna lie. The rip shirt's kind of interesting. Um, I feel like that would go with the female leggings, but, you know. <laughs> I am pretty sure the guys can wear that, too. I didn't even check that. Um, but they have two new pairs of pants. The second pair of pants here. Not feeling it entirely. I don't like how it sags below his butt. Um, but I think it could work with the right outfit. So we put it on him. Um... And these boots are to die for. I really like all of the shoe wear that came with the male sims in this pack. Everything is super strong. And to my dismay, I figure that there was no new children items. And there was also no new toddler items. So not surprised there. So I'm going to just cut off here in this speed up, sped up part. And we're just going to get right into some gameplay and build by review. Alright, so as you guys can see, um, we have the new world here, which is Glimmerbrook, which is beautiful in my opinion. Um, we're gonna go ahead and bulldoze, I think this guy, um, for the purposes of showing you guys the build, um, and the build by, I should say, the build by objects, um, because I want to be able to go over those with you and go a little bit more into detail. I won't show every single swatch, we're just gonna do a general overlook of everything. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and bulldoze this lot. I am entirely sure that's okay. We'll bulldoze the terrain. Okay, here. So let's get a wall. 
for all the, the actual build objects, we can showcase those. Um, let's see, we'll go to packs, we'll go to Realm of Magic, just to make sure we're only seeing Realm of Magic stuff. So we got two new doors for the short level edit, anyhow, um, they're really cute, actually. Ooh, we got more than two doors, okay. I'm more than impressed already. I was only expecting to get a couple of different doors, but we got quite a few, to be honest with you. Um, ooh, the archway, I'm in love, okay. So let's get to start out with. Let's just extend this even further. Um, we don't have any tall doors. Okay, so we've got two small one block doors, which are really cute. Um, yeah, I really like that. I think my favorite swatch is this one. It's kind of unique, but it's cute. And of course we have corresponding colors for all of these. Oh my gosh, look at the stained glass, you guys. I love it. Nice! Okay, and then we've got these as well. Ooh, there's stained glass on these two. Oh my god. Um, I'm really excited to build now. I really want to just build. Um, these doors are incredible. They're so, there's so much detailing and they're so different than all the other doors we have currently. This is going to add a lot to the game. Um, I bet you there's tons and upon tons of cool builds already on the gallery, so I'm really excited to go take a look at what people have done with this. Um, but I really like this, the stained glass, that is so nice. Um, let's take a look at windows now. So we've got, ooh, 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 so I was looking at somebody doing this. So they match these up together, and you can just rotate them, and they match up perfectly. So this is the, these two end pieces are the same window. So we'll just kind of go over and look at these swatches together. Oh my gosh, the stained glass. Yes, okay, I want to test this with the stained glass. That's so nice. You guys, oh my god, I'm so for this pack. Yes, okay. And then we've got this window here. And this window, oh, that's nice too. Huh. Alright, they really added a lot of really cool stuff here. So we've got these windows as well. I'm guessing same swatches, same colors, all big deals. This one's really nice. Um, oh my gosh. Yes, you guys. This is amazing. You guys have no idea that um, there's so many people who have been asking for um, stained glass pieces. It's ridiculous. Now we finally have them, so that's good. Um, apparently we've got something new here. This is from Realm of Magic, so that's really nice looking as well. There's a couple of different swatch options here. Um, can't really do that. I can't show you all of them, but there's quite a few different swatches. Um, we've got a new column. Oh, that is super nice. See, the good thing about this build by stuff so far is that it looks very versatile. It doesn't look limited to the pack. We also have the railing that matches this as well and we've got two new fences that's incredible so there's one of them um got some different swatches here very nice i really like that and then obviously we have a new fence here too Ooh, that one's nice this one's got the stained glass oh that is beautiful nice okay that is amazing um, and I don't know why this is glowing that's kind of strange oh we got a new fountain did we really What's this say? Mystical Reservoir, oh dear, a bit watery. Okay, so it's it's just... That's nice, though. We got a new fence, obviously, to match that. Went over the windows. We've got some wall sculptures here as well. That's so cool. Look at that. Little balconies. Um, and then this, obviously, maybe would go over a door of some sort. Uh, like that. That's really cool, you guys. This is some really nice stuff, and... Look at it, it matches, except for the woods. That's a disappointment, but it matches, and I think it'd go better maybe with this door, you know, if I could get it to work with this door. If you have move objects on, it definitely would work. I'm going to test it right now, bb.moveobjects. Yeah, look at that. It's like, that's super cool, and it matches. Like, you could do the white, or you could do that. That's super cute. Okay, so that's some, there's some really nice build by in here. Okay, so we've got some wallpapers, some with flowers, um, just different, different colored wallpaper. That's super, super, super nice. Um, I don't think this is too funky to use outside of Realm of Magic builds, honestly. I think this could work in the right room, in the right theme. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. Um, we've got some new tiling. 
No way. I need to look at this from a... Oh my gosh. Yes, and it changes a little. You guys. Oh, I love it. It's so good. Okay, this is, this is beautiful. This would work for, like bathrooms or whatever you want it to work for. We've got a brick wall here, which is super cool. This reminds me of Diagon Alley, of course, where they enter through the realm. And then this looks like it's got some sort of end piece um, if you do it on a corner room. Let's test it out. So let's take this and let's go like- Oh! You guys! That's beautiful! Nice! Okay. Nice. Um, we've got some new wood floor. That is lush. That's beautiful. There's several different swatch options. Um, beautiful. I like the black for sure. Um, any other fun ones? I'm just gonna scroll through here. Some new stuff should show up in the front. Okay. Uh, there it is. So we've got that. That's super nice. Any other ones? Is it just the two? Really? Okay, well, let's click on flooring and then let's go to realm of magic all yeah it's just the two but that's okay um there's like a darker brown version there's a lighter brown version there's the more white gray version there's darker bra blackish brown mix and like a light gray blue color so that's really cool um i don't know why windows is still saying ooh because there is a two-story window that we didn't see before. Um, pretty much the same style as the other windows. Uh, just bigger and more... I don't even know how to explain it. It's just... This is so nice. I am not upset at all. I am not upset at all. Okay. Um, and now we should look at some kitchen stuff. So we did get a new stove. That's really cool. We got, um, obviously our new counter, our new island, um, these have pretty much the same colors. I like the black version, um, same as here too. Okay, no cabinets, so that's kind of annoying. We got a new stove, however, that's new. Um, we've got some new decorations to put in the kitchen. Or near, I love that, oh my gosh, the potions shelf. And this is like a supplies cabinet. And we already looked at this fountain. This is beautiful. And we got a new sink. Oh man, that's magical. Look at that. It's like a peacock over it. Oh my lord, that's amazing. Yep, I'm not upset. <laughs> not upset. We have a lot of really cool stuff. Ooh, we've got some curtains. Definitely have to look at these curtains here. Um. What the heck? What windows do these match with? That's my only confusion, okay? Um, so this could probably work here, but this would also work. You know what I mean? I'm assuming they all have the same swatch options as well. These are super cool, though. Um, we got a bigger one. This would match that window for sure. I'm pretty sure that's the only piece from this um, collection it would really match. We already looked at this overhang thing. Awesome. We have some new bar stools. Okay. Um, just a cute little back with no seat, or with no backing on the seat, but it's really cute. I think that's awesome. Um, we've got some new wall lighting here. So let's put that over here. We'll take a look at it here. Um, some new flooring lighting. Okay. And some new ceiling lighting. That is huge. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, I need to zoom out because that is ginormous. What the heck? We don't have a light three by three, at, like, ever in this game. That's insane to me. Holy crap. Um, and then we've got this cute little floor lighting. It looks like a crystal. Um, that's really cool. I think this is supposed to spit out fire, this light, but I'm not sure. And these all have kind of the same swatches as well. Yes. Um, the wall lights here also follow kind of the same thing. Except for this ladybug. This matches, or a firefly. I think this is supposed to be a firefly. This matches more the stained glass windows, which is completely okay with me. Um, and this one matches like a mix, because there's the red swatch, the blue swatch from the door. Um, 
So we've got a pretty good variety here. That's for sure. I'm going to just go to show all. That is, yes. And I need to do some mother load because we are not, we do not have enough money to look at all this stuff from this pack. Um, so we've got some new beds, a couple new chairs. Okay. Don't know how I feel about the big chair, but that's all right. Um, we got a new couch. We got a new love seat to match that couch. Okay. A bench here. A cough. No, that's a dining table. Wow. An end table. Uh, this is the coffee table. We got a new desk, and it glows for some reason. Uh, ooh, the wand display. I was really excited about the wand display. Um, we've got this cabinet curio, uh, a taller end table, our toilet here, our shower. Ooh, I'm obsessed with the shower. Okay. <laughs> cauldrons. More cauldrons. This one's obviously the more fancy one. We've got a bar. Um, we need some, we need another wall over here <laughs> to put up all these wall decorations that we got. I'm gonna just do that for now. Um, where is it? Right here. Okay. Some wall decorations. We got this wall decoration. Very nice. Starter magical plant. So I'm assuming that has something to do with brewing, um, that you need certain plants to make, you know, certain potions, so on and so forth. So you have to grow those yourself. I don't what this is. It's kind of a weird rug in my opinion. However, you can connect them and it might not be as bad. Yeah, that works. Um, and then we've got this really cool uh, floor piece. It's classified as a rug. Clearly it is not a rug. Um, but it's supposed to kind of frame your cauldron. That's really nice. We've got a normal like rug. I don't know how why I said it that way. It's really, really cool though. I definitely will be using the rug. That's for sure. And then we've got that circle. You already looked at that circle at the back. Um, we've got a new fireplace! Dude, okay, so this is the one that glows. The fire glows a different color. I like this, too! Oh my god, I am gonna go crazy. And our new bassinet! That is what I was the most excited about, which is really funny, honestly. Um, because you go into a magic pack, you know, expecting magical objects. Not really a baby bassinet, but hey, I'm here for it. I'm living for it. I'm ready for it. Like, I'm down. Um, is this the dresser too? We finally have a one block dresser. Okay, I'm freaking out. Officially freaking out now. Um, oh my gosh. Yes. So these have the same swatches. The fireplace has got quite a few different swatches. These paintings have different pictures and picture frame colors. Um, yeah, this stuff is really nice, and it's really cohesive throughout the pack. Like, I don't have any complaints about the color swatches, except for maybe that door, um, because that wood didn't really match any of the other woods, but I think it might. I am not sure, because it kind of matches the top part of that table. But I don't, I don't know for sure. Um, the wand display even changes colors. This is incredible, you guys. Um... I'm really enchanted by this pack. Uh, no pun intended. I'm just kidding. Totally a pun intended. Um, but I really think you guys will enjoy this pack. Uh, let's do some, let's do some gameplay though. I think that'd be fun. Um, how do we, so how do you practice your magic? Do I have to click on her magic? Practice magic, practice practical magic, practice mischief magic, and practice untamed magic. So I'm going to have to do more research on that, but apparently there are three different types of magic. We also have a spell book here. Um, let's see what it says. The schools of magic. A spellcaster is defined by what you learn and study. What kind of spellcaster are you? So there's apparently different things that you have to do uh, to do certain things in the book. Not entirely sure. Um, so there's different steps. So there's alchemy steps. There's 15 progress steps. Obviously, she's done zero out of the 15. Mischief magic has seven steps. Untamed has eight. And practical magic has nine. And I feel like after you finish this book, you might have mastered magic. I don't know. I don't know if there's really a skill either, but let's have her practice magic. So ever do practice mischief magics? I feel like that's something she would do. Um, I don't know if it's a skill per se. 
or if it's just like they're all good at it but they just have to hone in their powers i don't know how that works um let's have him practice untamed magic i don't really know what that means either but um what is this doing for you per se uh the spark of magic begins to flow and swirl practice magic learn and make new potions on the cauldron cast spells and search for tombs to gain experience okay or for tomes. I don't know what tomes means. And talent points. So this system kind of reminds me of the fame level here, which is really good. Um, so you have to do certain things to get certain perks, uh, which is really nice. And I know there's a lot more that I haven't gone over with the pack, but I feel like this video is already so long. Um, but yeah, so with these aspirations, she becomes a spellcaster, which, you know, we made her a spellcaster. Travel to the magic realm, which I believe we could do. I don't see why not. I know that is somewhere... Somewhere off the beaten path, if I remember right here she is. Um, let's travel to the ma magic realm. You can go alone, I don't really care. But look at this. This is absolutely stunning. That is beautiful, you guys. What an amazing, like, just the scenery. This reminds me of Granite Falls a little bit, but I think this is absolutely stunning. This world is completely gorgeous. I was not expecting this at all, um, but I am so here for it, for sure. Where are you, lady? Come on, Bristol, let's go. Let's go to the realm of magic. Hurry up. Okay, she's running. Uh, can you collect these butterflies? No, they're just part of the world. Okay. I wasn't sure. I didn't know if, like, the bugs did anything for her, necessarily. Here we go. Goodbye, welcome, Wigan. Yeah, we don't... Yeah, enter the portal. So, once you enter the portal, you go through, and it comes to a loading screen, of course, because we are not an open-world game. Sims 4 is not an open-world game. But that's okay. I think... The Sims 4 kind of stands on its own in that way. But we have arrived, and we are in the magical world. So you arrive and you see this. Okay? So there's, like, northern lights, almost shooting stars. This is incredible stuff here. I kind of wish <laughs> they chose a different plant, but um, it's absolutely stunning. So when you enter, you show up right next to this really ginormous house that needs a lot of work. Um... Uh, but there's just so much to look at. Uh, there's crystals everywhere. There's beautiful gardens here. Um, and there's, like, rocks that are pathways, as you can see. Um, but we're gonna zoom out and just get a really good look at this entire landscape area. So let's go right about here. Like, look at this, people. Look at it. That is absolutely incredible. That is stunning. I don't know if the color of the area changes at all. It's like a void, basically. I don't think it would or will, um, but that's exactly what the magic world looks like. And there's stuff to collect here, too, which I'm guessing maybe has to do something with alchemy. Uh, ooh, what is that? Hold on. Is that a snake? You guys, there's a snake on the ground. That's scary stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay, so for a fact, I know that if you look for certain things on this island, um, like if you see glowing things, um, that's how you can get a familiar. You can also buy familiars as well, from my understanding. But this, uh, return to HQ. I don't know what that means. Go here. Will you just come here? I don't know how this works. We'll follow her. Um, but they, that island that she's traveling to right now, currently, that is where you buy all of your stuff so you get one material. Ooh, she went through the portal? No way. That's amazing. Okay. No, 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 no. Don't disappear on me. Um, but this is where you can buy wands, buy your tomes and familiars. So let's go take a look at all of this and let's see what they offer. So, I'm assuming the familiars orbs are obviously the familiars that help you fight magic. So you got a bone wand and an ancient wood wand. As well as the orb of the raven, the sixum owl, the fairy, um, tomb of alluring aura, 
And so these are some spell books, I'm assuming. And then we've got the Wand of Astral Creation, Forged Out of Moonstones and Abu. Um, that is clearly <sighs> the middle of the line wand. I think we want to get her the bone wand. Let's get her a raven. Um, familiar. And then we'll get her all these books, which is so cool, you guys. I'm so excited. Okay, so that's the wand shop, clearly. What do we got over here? Brooms and crystals. Yes, I want to see her ride a broom, and then I'm going to end this because I feel like this is a little too long of a review. Let's do the classic wood broom, and we'll just, we'll buy a lot of materi materials too, because, you know, why not? Uh, and then we've got this as well. Buy potion ingredients? Okay, let's see what goes into some potions. Ooh, so you can use fish, fruit, um, rocks even. Uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's an actual potion you can buy. Interesting. Okay, and it changes your perks. All right. All right. Well, this is really cool stuff, guys. However, I think I am going to end this video here. If you guys enjoyed this review um, of the Realm of Magic, I don't even know what to call this video. I guess it's a review, an overview of the new pack. Um, make sure to leave me a like because it lets me know you guys enjoyed my content and you would like to see more. Um, it really self-ego boost. I'm not even kidding you because I feel like sometimes I do these videos for no apparent reason. Um, so if you could leave me a like, I'd really appreciate that. And I'd appreciate even more if you could subscribe to my channel. It is free to you. All you have to do is just click or tap whatever device you're watching it on. It just lets me know that you guys really like my content and I should continue to make more of these review videos, these create a sim videos, these um, let's play videos, the build videos, my custom content finds, everything. Um, so yeah, if you could subscribe and like this video, I'd really appreciate it, and I hope you guys have an enchanting time looking at this new game pack for yourselves. I really recommend it. I would probably rate this one a 7 out of 10 if I had to do a ranking. Um, but yeah, I haven't explored it too much yet, but I... From what I can see, definitely at least a 7 out of 10 ranking. Um, but I am going to end this video here. Again, if you enjoyed it, like, subscribe to my channel, and until next time, hoodah!